What's good? Chaotic Nation, it is your boy Chaos here. Welcome back to the Pokemon XD Arenomizer Nuzlocke. We are back again inside, well, I guess on top of the Cypher Key Lair. Uh, we're probably going to finish it this, we're definitely going to finish it this episode because there's only should be a few more trainer fights that we have to take care of uh, while we're here. I feel like I should be able to squeeze through that, but I don't know. Uh, but we got to figure out a way, I guess, to get inside here. That's where he is. Um, that's not a staircase. It looks like a staircase, but it's not. All right, dude. Let's go. Above here is the Fidactory Zola Border Control Machine. Yeah, that's your pass. You can take inches off my chest. What do you mean, take inches? What does that What does that mean, take inches? Somebody let me know. I've heard of putting hair on your chest, but inches off your chest? I don't know about that one. Um, I'll probably also with... I just thought of this because Evaporeon popped up. I'll probably allow every evolution. Just because I feel like it makes sense. Also, this uh, Vaporeon 100% has Ice Beam. And that terrifies me. Um, then we have a Hoodoo. So... Yeah, this ain't the best. So I don't think there's a way I one-shot the uh, this. Let's go ahead and get Crystal and... I feel like Crystal and Gyarados are our best play here. Just to make sure we're safe. I don't want to lose anything. Like, I have a really broken team. I didn't do a team recap because it's going to be the same team for the rest of the playthrough besides finding Charizard that will replace our uh, eventual, uh, well, replace our Gyarados, but that's going to be the team. So, like, I can't, I can't give, give you much else. All right, he was for Bite. That was not what I expected. I was more worried about Aurora Beam That could kill both of the mons of my team, but I guess now I don't really have much to worry about. So we'll just uh, kind of plow through the team here. He has five Pokemon. Yeah, this, these battles are going to be long, just because there's so many Pokemon you have to face. Forgot how thick you are. That's a physical attack, and you're taking that really well. Jeez. That is not good. I, I have thought about with this series, you know, I could speed up the battles and stuff. I could make things go quicker than they do currently, but I don't know if that's really a good idea. Like, I could just skip through some stuff. Like, oh, Shadow Pokemon. Oh, Shadow Pokemon. I don't like, I don't like that editing style. Like, kind of bugs me a little bit, honestly. That people are just like, oh, I'm just gonna skip around and skip around. I understand for, like, the sake of a video and the sake of keeping people interested. All right, uh, remind me later uh, that you want to skip around and do the important stuff. I think that works on TikTok. I don't think that works. I don't like that on YouTube. I'd rather have YouTube be the full thing. I'd, I'd rather see everything than not. So that's, that's why I'm going to consider. All right, we got a good time to get in um, character in here. It's a good time to get Cacturn in, because I can... I really want to Leech Seed this Vaporeon. It's not doing anything! So if I can just Leech Seed it, it cause it to... to suffer a little bit. I mean, Bite's doing a little chunk of health, but... If I at least Seed it and continue through that way, I think we're okay. I'll, I'll say, this really makes me want to use a Cacturn and, like, I like, go back to Aura, not Aura, go back to, like, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald and use it. Like, Gen 3, Cacturn seems really cool. I know, like, it can't be built as a physical or special attacker, but, like, I feel like it's a really good special attacker for some reason. A Giga Drain, Leech Seed, Sand Attack, and, you know, a uh, Dark Stab of your choosing. It'd be a pretty solid set. Magby, is that a Shadow Magby? It is a Shadow Magby. So I probably don't want that. I probably don't want that. <laughs> I'll be honest. Because that is not fun. And that would not be good. But I wonder what the other stat is. 
I wonder what the other uh, Mon is. I don't want to just chuck balls at a Mag Beast. Let's let's try to double through this Vaporeon. I know I just set up on it. If I can get rid of it, or at least make it go away this turn, we're we're in a good spot. Shadow Rush. That's gonna tickle. It's like, oh, that's Fire type. Like, they never use their secondary moves. They use their shadow moves. Like, that's all they use. So I believe that's all they have, really. So I don't have to really worry about the typing besides what I'm going to use and what I'm not going to use. Get out of it. All right, what do we have? What's our other shadow? A Spinda. You know, I'm... Well, that's pretty bad. Uh, I think I'm going to take the... The Magby. Just because... I think it'll work better for me. It, like, it gives me a fire type. Spend is not really going to give me anything. So, I, I'm going to go with the Magby, I guess. I don't have a fire type at the moment, so... I'm sorry that did how much? That should not be doing that much. Jeez. Here, I was going to set up on your face. Yeah, he's pretty weak. Alright, let's go ahead and get that light screen up. Um, and I can switch out to... Let's get, we can get probably throw Dig Dug in here. And get hit a magnitude and do some good damage on both of them. Yeah, the hard part about this game with the shadow with double shadows is trying to catch both of them. Or trying not to KO both of them, more importantly. It's like about managing what's on the field more or less. I like that about XD. It's one of my things that I feel like it should happen. I know a lot of people are like, you know. You know, it's kind of unfair to use six shadow Pokemon as the final boss of this game. I'm like, yeah, but if you own a shadow Pokemon, if, like, if your whole goal is shadow Pokemon, and you're the leader of that team, why would you not use just shadow Pokemon? So, I, I understand... I understand what they're trying to get at, but I also understand that I feel like they should have all those really good Pokemon. I meant to switch, so it'll be out, but it's okay. It'll work. Oh, I wanted to catch the Magby. I, my brain went... Went the other side. Went the other way. I mean, honestly, this is not a big thing to miss or catch. Like, it's a... It's a... And a... And we know Rave is special, so... That's gonna do nothing now that I've set up... Stuff. I, I don't... If I fail this, I honestly am not too worried about it, so... To see what we get. Mag 8, 6. Alright, so it's definitely still alive. Oh, I can't switch it out anyway. I can't switch it out anyway, because uh, I got Shadow Hold. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a, that's only 80% weird. Weird. Um, let's chuck a ball, I guess. I guess I'm catching the Spinda. I kind of made that choice. Accidentally. I don't think I can switch, but we'll see if we can, just to be funny. I cannot. Okay. I thought so, but, you know, I just wanted to check. Nothing wrong with checking. Um, I got some, uh, where are they at? Lemonades? There they are. Got some lemonades to, to help us out. Just in case you don't catch it. Smina has a really low catch rate, if I remember correctly. But again, I guess we'll take a Strato Spinda. You know, Teeter Dance could be fun. I guess we caught it. Alright, cool. That's fun. I actually didn't run back and heal, I just used the uh, items I had. Why is my hand really slick there? I don't understand. Uh, TM26. I think that's usually flame. Thrower? What is it now? TM26 is a mean look. Alright, well, I guess that's good for nothing. Okay, now just to adjust the voltage. 
No, oh, it's where's where's the system lever, huh? Oh, I left it on my desk. That's not smart. Oh, hey, that's the system lever. You went and got it for me? Thank you. Wait, who are you anyway? You don't belong here. Darn, if the voltage goes up even a little, the computers controlling this whole facility will shut down. And oh my gosh, if that were to happen, the Shadow Pokemon production software could be destroyed. Can't let you lay one finger on the control machine. Well, thank you for telling me exactly how it works. R&D Akrod. You know, you can make Draco from his name. I'm just saying. A Butterfree? I'll take a Butterfree, you know, if you'd be so kind. I don't think Bug Buzz was around until Gen... I want to say it's not a, it's a Gen 4 move. I don't know. Um, I do know that... Dig Dug has literally no matchup here. And to play a prediction game, let's bring in Desperado. It's a very, very jank prediction game, but it's a fun one. It'll be a fun one, because Butterfree's dead. There ain't no way you live in that. It's a Rayquakeway. And then... Ooh. Just giving me things I can kill. Heck. Alright, a bad prediction, but it's fine. Very bad prediction. Holy cow. That was a bad. That was a very bad. Um... I don't think either of these things get pursued, but I don't have anything to switch in here. That's the unfortunate part. I just don't have things to swap places. I don't know what I just did. I think I threw Dig Dug back in. Oh, well. No, I got the right one. Okay. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. But I would say this game is more... You definitely want more defensive Pokemon than offensive ones. That was a good switch. I I wasn't I didn't think we'd one shot the Zatu. I thought we had a chance to, but I also figured this would happen, and they would double team me. So better to deal with the uh, the thing I know I can deal with, which is just switching out, not having to worry about it at all. Yeah, Cacturne's probably is one definitely one of those lead Pokemon. Unfortunately, it does not pair well with the Dug Trio. So I kinda of have to choose who's leading out of the two of those. Shadow Kingdra. Be, oh, it's not Shadow. You do you not have a Shadow then. Usually it's their last two. I know for a fact the boss here has two shadows, so. Uh, we're gonna guarantee that Executor goes down. That looks menacing. That looks very menacing. And a Shadow Venusaur could be fun. It's not. You just don't have Shadow Pokemon, I guess. Now that will have a grass move. Which makes me a bit concerned. Just a touch. Um, but we got this. Yeah, he just doesn't have a Shadow Pokemon. Let's go ahead and swap to Gyarados. I should have actually swapped to Grass type, but... There's really not a good way to deal with the Kingdry either at the moment. That's just part of it. Alright, that's actually okay, because I can Thrash now. And I have a shot. I have a shot with Thrash to miss, then. So then I wouldn't get confused by fatigue. Oh, I forgot you had leftovers, too. And if I attack the right one... Okay, I missed the... I wanted to attack the King Drew, but that's fine. That's fine. That Venusaur is gone, so... I'm surprised he didn't have a shot of Pokemon. Feels like he should. But I don't know. I feel like I'm really over leveled, but I know the oh, you can learn crunch. Uh, that is special. Um, I really like this set, honestly. So I think I'm gonna just forgo crunch. I have other things that can learn crunch. Like I don't need Rayquaza. Also, what are you biting with? You just have gums, man. You literally just have gums. You gonna gum them to death or something, man? Jeez. Hey, or Rayquaza just doesn't have teeth. I didn't mean to click threat. Uh, 
Sky attack. That's my bad. Let's click Dragon Claw. But I guess it's okay. You don't have any physical moves, so we should be fine. So we should be fine as long as we both hit here. So. No worries. Scary boss guy is not scary. I just find it weird that you don't have a shadow Pokemon. I missed. Cool. I find it very weird that, that, can, that this guy didn't have a shadow Pokemon. Like, he's like the last guy to fight before we go to fight boss man. And he doesn't have a shadow Pokemon. Feels very wrong. But, you know, I guess... I guess those kinds of things happen. And this guy is now defeated. Back down here, because I feel like I missed half of this. The thing I was like, oh, this is the right way. And then I just never came back over here because I was I'm missing stuff like. I'm specifically missing like this half of the map. I didn't. I don't I know I didn't do it because I was like, oh, yeah, there's a box there. There's another item at the top. So I just skipped this part of the, the map. Not realizing that I could come here by going down the stairs on the other side, but should have somebody drop from the ceiling, I would assume. Or maybe it's just items. That's just items. Okay, that's fine. I'm just running through this place. It kind of, like, I kind of feel like this is underwhelming as a laboratory. Like, it feels like it should have more fat industrial things in it, but I guess. All right, let's race. Uh oh. That's not good. This music always creeps me out a little bit. Just a touch. All right. Oh, so that face kind of looks like a messed up, Mr. Mime, in my opinion. Like, it looks like a face on that control panel. Oh, he's not the last guy before the boss. What's going on? The production line stopped. The control computer's not responding. Oh, you're that punk from the SS Libra. Libra. I think I thought it was Libra. You're behind this, aren't you? Oh, no. What, what the blaze is? The poke, Shadow Pokemon production software's been deleted. Gorgon gets furious if things don't go his way. He's gonna chew me out again. For someone named Smartin, you're pretty dumb. I gotta say, he, he seems pretty dim. Hope he's in the Poly world. Uh, fun fact: Gor one of Gorgon's Pokemon is Prime is Primeape and Poliwrath. So I find it ironic that this guy has a Poly world in this randomizer. All right, Gyarados, don't want to come out. Okay. Uh, Tropius and Paul, you pr definitely have Gus. I'm out. What's your other one? It's a uh, Polyroll. How deal? So I'm just gonna go to Red Claw. And we can just deal with the Tropius side of things. Yeah, the unfortunate part is we keep running into flying types that I really can't do much against. So, just a bit of a problem. I just have to end up with my long boys out on the field. I, mean, I guess they get the work done. I also have two grass types and neither of them have grass stab. Probably should deal with that. I don't know why you would magical leap that slot, but okay. Sure. I guess. Yeah, I don't know why you. You have. You definitely have at least gust. I want to use Gust. I don't know. I have no idea. Did Desperado get a level? Can you learn like Giga Drain or something? I feel like he learns at a 36. Wormpool. Shadow Wormpool, oh my gosh. Let's go. I have a Metapod. <laughs> I know I have a Metapod. So that should not kill the Poliwhirl. It does. Okay. Well, that's fun. In it. Doug Trio. So that's not even you don't why did no one have shadow Pokemon? Jeez. It's like it's hard to come by shadow Pokemon in this game or something. Uh it's honestly just sludging. It should be okay. And you realize the only thing you're hitting is the uh, Wurmple, right? You realize it's that. 
right? Yeah, I know you have, like, cut or something, like, use that instead, man. Alright, Doug Shrio goes down. We can Dragon Rage X turn in, and that should finish him. He has about 80 HP at this point in time, so... Boom. I like how you learn how to, like... Oh, plus... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's kind of funny. Guess they actually got New King's Plus all this time, that's crazy. Um... I'll be honest, I don't know what the best play course of action is here. I do know what the best course of action is here. I can Dragon... I can Dragon reach the plus hole, so that way it, it does a set amount of damage and doesn't one-shot it. A Shadow Plus hole. That's kind of ironic. I think this game is trying to be ironic today. Alright, what is your shadow move? Your rush? So rush is the 55. Cool. Yeah, that's rude. That's kind of bad. I'll be honest. Just a little bit bad. Um, what I can do is I can chuck a great ball and then I can also heal Gyarados. So I don't have to worry about running back to the PC after this battle. That'll just save me some time. I should be able to catch it. It's a plus hole. Like, they are known. I probably could have caught it at full health, let's be fair. But it's status and in yellow, this should be easy. And got him. Well, that's fun. You have a... This guy had not a good team at home. Door again! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's been defeated. He just runs away. I like how they just disappeared. I probably should have looked at my team before going in here. So this is our battle. This is the boss fight. I like this lead. I'm going to keep it. Let's say what's up, bro. Where's all my crew? Uh, you wiped them out every single last one of them impossible. That one kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made. Ah, wrecking my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing. Monkey man. Like, this guy obviously does not do leg day. You've made it now. You've done it now. You have treatment man. There's no forgiving that. Be prepared to drop. Like, he, Primate fits him really well as a Pokemon. I'm just saying. Like, he's monkey man. He's literally beating on his chest and stuff. He also has, like, two pairs of goggles for no reason. I'm just pointing that out. He has two pairs of goggles. No reason. I have two. Legit no reason to have two pairs of goggles, man. Swarm. Oh, he's Trace. He has Trace. Um... The good question is what to do here. I think we can just set up Tail Glow. Call that a day and just try to get rid of the poor fish. Potentially. I know that Shell Smash is a thing. But I'm not worried about it for now. Hopefully. Hopefully there's no need to worry about it. Yeah. I was gonna say earlier, it's hard- this game is very much- you need to have defensive Pokémon. And have decent attack stats. And so it's not... He crit me, jeez. I guess it's not very effective, but he did crit me. You definitely want those kinds of Pokémon. Um... It's trying to make you useless. Then I guess I can Dragon Rage through this. Because obviously, like, you could have to take two hits in a turn. So. That is a bit of a problem. I have to, hopefully that shut down the... I should have just knocked it out, but I'm being cheeky. I'm playing long game for no reason. Burn? No. Yeah, I'm playing the long game for no reason here. We'll see if it, we'll see if it pays off, but definitely playing long game here. I'm gonna use this turn to. I'll feel safer if Desperado is at full. 
Because the core fish will eventually just die. And I can just plow through, I can solo down the other side. As much as I want. What was, what got level? Oh, I forgot you have, um... What's it called? You have, uh, the experience share. I might need to take that off. Might just need to take that off. Okay, so this is a bit problem. Yeah, we're no way out speeding a Firo. We're no way out speeding a Firo. Um, which is a bit unfortunate because I'd set up and everything, but counters exist. Don't want to lose something because I was being dumb. You know, better play safe than sorry. I could obviously just have attack, but still. Okay, we would have been fine, but yeah, kind of annoying still. Could have been bad. Better play safe than play sorry. That's all. That's how we got to play this game. The character doesn't have good defenses, so for the most part. Okay, Shadow Pidgeot. It is six Pokemon, jeez. Uh, let's Asia power the Pidgeot. We could sludge the Fiero again. Especially get poison or a high roll. I know. This game really makes you think. Like it really takes the time to make you think. You have to like, okay, what is everything gonna do? What moves do they know? Like how can my Pokemon live this attack? What how do I do I single down a target? Do I double down? Um do I spread everything around and try to get enough damage off? Like, what, what am I doing? So, it is very, very complicated in some regards. All right, Fear goes down. What do we have? What's our first shadow? Cubone. Okay. Not really that great. Not really that great. I guess we'll take it. I guess. I'm likely gonna choose the second one, but I don't know what it is yet, so. I know Kimbo might be the play. We did have to get a ground type. We got a sand slash in the back to deal if Doug Trio goes down. But Marowak also would be good. I'm taking them. Mm. That's a tough call for me. I'm gonna look up the move set real quick for you. That's the wrong decks. I want to know what Vaporeon gets because I feel like if you get ice coverage, you might be okay. Um, you're 34 right now. You could get Aurora Beam at 36. And you should relearn Bite, uh, Quick Attack, and Water Gun. Uh, but it's Water Gun. So you'd be kind of useless. I think I kind of want the Cubone. Just for move set sanity. Of course, I get an ad. I think that would be better for me here. I know, like, Vaporeon is a good Pokemon. That's what I was talking about, but I get access to a bunch of good normal moves, focus energy, um, you know, which it will have. Bone Meringue, False Swipe, uh, yeah, Cubone is going to be the play here, 100%. Alright, let's get out of here with Red Claw. Um, we know you have... They're just, they're not going to go for that. They're going to go for Shadow Moves, so... Don't worry about their actual attacking stats. Focus on the, uh... The other stats. All right. Um, we can Dragon Rage again. Get Cubone in range to catch. And if we time it correctly, we should be able to deal with the uh, Vaporeon next turn by itself. Yeah, I don't know. Shadow Storm. What does that do? Oh, that's powerful. That's not good. That was a crit? Jeez. That might be a dead Gyarados. Okay, we're fine. 
Uh, we're 100% faster than a, than a Vaporeon's so light screen. That's exactly why I'm like, oh yeah, Jirachi's not Jirachi. Uh, Celebi's really good for these catching, especially now that uh, the majority of shadow moves are special. The ones that attack. At least. Um, it's by one. Yeah, there's five, there's six special moves and four and five physical, but the special ones are the scary ones because the only physical one that's really crazy is Shadow End. And that's 60% to miss, so we should take that perfectly. All right, now we're gonna figure out how to deal with the Vaporeon. I'm gonna heal first. I think we just heal ourselves this turn. Yeah, there's no reason to switch. There's no reason to switch. We can drag in a. Uh, we can drag in rage and then. Hopefully, deal with future sight here. While this thing spams Shadow Storm. is really powerful. Also, it's weird that two physical attackers get a, uh, a special move, but sure. I guess that works. Actually, I can just click Thrash. And that should do a lot. I don't have to worry about the move because of uh, having the light screen up. Like, barring a crit, we're fine. And Celebi can't be crit, so... That's good. And Gyarados is eating it, so we're, we're okay. We're perfectly fine. And Gyarados actually has some pretty good bulk. Um, not the best, but good enough to get by. Which I, I like, you know, it's a good Pokemon. It's a really solid Pokemon. It's just unfortunate, like, has a bad move set. It doesn't get it. Like, if it had Flying Stab, it'd be so much better, in my opinion, but it, it just doesn't get it. it. Just doesn't get it. All right, Future Sight takes effect here. Does not. All right, let's just take it out. I should have done this last turn, but it's all right. But you never know, I could get the boost here. No. Right. Yeah, I should have just done that last turn. Probably would have been closer to taking it out. But, what have you? Mr. Evil Guy is upset. He's got a wrench. I didn't even know he had a wrench in his back pocket, man. Right, I said you got getting away with this. No way, no if, no how. It's your butt. I'm taking this. I'm blowing up the factory with you in it. Dorian, that's quite enough. Except that you have lust. Master Grievel. Oh, oh, dude. Uh, for, I'm an old Barrett. That's the voice. Sir, you remember me, don't you? Yes, indeed. I'm Mr. Barrett. Your man says to say Grievel, the Grandmaster. I must admit that I'm taking a bath. I never once imagined you would destroy our factory, but it's not important. Even though the best output of Shadow Pokemon has ended, our plan itself is unharmed. We have already completed XT-001's final turning. It now rests with me. XT-01, the ultimate Shadow Pokemon for just a purification? Now I should prepare for our final plan to activate XT-001. Do you honestly think you can stop me? I shall be at the Cypher's HQ on Cinnadark Isle off the coast of Gideon Port. Is impregnable fortress that repels all the cruel waves and thick clouds, and no one can reach it. Come if you dare. I'll enjoy wa waiting for you. <laughs> okay, I actually started. I actually started coughing there. I was joking, and then I just you know started actually coughing. It's bad. There should be a lot more shadow. But where's your one? Didn't drop the ship. Go to the place. Yada yada. Gorgon's running away because he's scared. We have completed uh, this place. Honestly, this is a nice little layer. So the list of manufactured shadow Pokemon. So now I can check that. We can see what we have, uh, what we've caught, or what we should be able to find. 
I, I kind of want to spoil myself a little bit. I want to know if I get a Charizard. Just a little bit. So we missed the Sableye. We missed Corsola. Groudon, obviously. Natsu Glalie. We got all those. Tail of Knockdown Metapod. We missed the Moltres. We got Rayquaza. We got the Vaporeon. So I can know what we're going to get. Like, Macargo and Unknown are the next two. I kind of... I shouldn't look at them just to be spoiled. Not to spoil myself. We know what the next two are. I'll give myself that. That That's all we, all we really need. But... Uh, that'll be the end of this episode. I don't think there's any more dialogue here, but I'll run back um, to the PC and start to get all these Pokemon purified and everything. And then I will try to figure out where we're we going next. I actually don't really remember. It's been a while uh, since I've played. So I, I don't quite remember. I know we're going to Citadark next, but I don't remember exactly how to get there and how we set up the things we need to get there. So that'll be the end of this episode. Make sure you answer. I don't know if I asked a question today. So if I asked one, answer it. If I didn't, oof, too bad. Um, make sure you answer that. If I did, uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Definitely. If you don't want to miss the rest of this series. And who wants to miss a Shadow Macargo? Like, you know, we've been robbed. What's this? What's going on here? Hold on. Darn it, give it back. Give it back. What's up? Hey. These two weird guys took off with their shadow Pokemon. One had a mohawk and the other had like, like a ball. Darn it, they make off with our last shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. So this is where Mirabeo steals the last shadow Pokemon, which is the Dragonite. So that, that's what that was set. Uh, but yeah, also check out my uh, my socials. There's a bunch of them linked in the description down below. I'd love to have you guys join me on other platforms where I do other content. Um, but as for now, that is all I've got for you. So until next time, my name is Chaos. I'm signing off. Stay safe. And as always, burn it up. <laughs>